This is a short film that explains how to answer a momentum question. Uh, the question has been taken from a January 2010 uh, AQA Hire paper. In total, the question's got seven marks available. Uh, it's got a couple of marks for these first parts one and two uh, that are just uh, for explaining something. And then it has three marks available for a calculation. And finally, another two marks available for working out uh, a velocity. So if we go back to the start. It begins by saying that in any collision, the total momentum of the colliding objects is usually conserved. So it's just stated the conservation of momentum. And then it's asking you what is meant by the term momentum is conserved. All it's looking for here is for you to demonstrate that you understand that uh, the momentum before a collision equals the momentum after a collision. That's as simple as that. Part two is asking, uh, in a collision, momentum is not always conserved. Why? Well, that's a case of uh, external forces coming to play. So you literally just have to uh, say there that um, momentum wouldn't be conserved if you factor in the effect of external forces. And the kind of external forces that, that might come into play would be, say, friction on car tyres or air resistance that would, in effect, slow down the vehicles after the collision and affect the momentum calculations. So that's a couple of easy marks to start off with. Now the main part of the question uh, describes uh, the situation before a collision between a car and a van and after uh, the collision. It gives you the mass, velocity of the car, the mass and velocity of the van. Notice that the van isn't moving because it's got a velocity of zero uh, before the collision. So it's a static van uh, and the car drives in the back of it. Then after the collision, uh, both the van and the car roll on. They continue to move. Um, the question gives you the uh, velocity of the car, but it doesn't give you the velocity of the van. So that's all the information we've got. First part asks you to use the information in the diagram and the equation in the box below. So it gives you the equation you've got to use. And it asks you to calculate the change in momentum of the car. So that's pretty straightforward. We've got the mass and velocity of the car before the collision. So we can work out our momentum there. Uh, the mass of the car doesn't change. Uh, we've got the velocity of the car after the collision, so we can work out our momentum there, the before and after momentum, and therefore work out the, uh, the change in momentum. So the momentum before the collision, the car, PB, equals the mass times the velocity. The mass is 1,200 kilograms. Uh, its velocity is 10 meters a second. 1200 times the 10 meters a second gives us 12,000 kilogram meters per second. Now, the momentum after the collision is going to be the product of the velocity and the mass of the car again. The momentum after the collision. The mass of the car hasn't changed, it's still 1200. Multiplied by the velocity of the car after the collision, 2 meters a second, and that gives us 2400 kilogram meters per second. So the change in velocity is simply uh, the 12,000 you start off with minus the 2400 uh, to get 9600. And you really have to make sure that you put the unit here. It's asking for the unit. You'll lose a mark if you don't put that unit there, which is, of course, kilogram meters per second. That will get you your three marks. All right, the next part of the question, part two. Use the idea of the conservation of momentum to calculate the velocity of the van when it's pushed forwards by the collision. 
So let's have a look at the information again and figure out how we can do this. We've got no velocity of the van, that's what we're trying to work out. So we can simply say we can work out the momentum before the collision. We can work out then the total momentum after the collision, and somewhere in that calculation we'll have the velocity of the van, and then we can rearrange the calculation we get to work out that B. So the velocity or momentum, sorry, before the collision will be PB. It's going to equal the momentum of the car added to the momentum of the van. Well, we know here that the van is static. It, it starts off at zero velocity. So the momentum of the van is going to be zero. The momentum of the car, we've already worked that out as uh, 1,200 kilograms times 10 meters a second. So uh, the momentum before is just going to be 12,000, which is going to equal the momentum after the collision which is going to be the momentum of the car added to the momentum of the van. So we can write down that. The momentum of the car after the collision we worked out earlier is 2,400. Add the momentum of the van, which we know the mass of the van, I think it was 3,200 kilograms. Uh, times the velocity of the band that we're trying to work out. So we're trying to get that V. Uh, we've now got uh, an equation we can rearrange uh, and solve for V. So I'll carry on down here. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is take the 2400 over to this side uh, to get rid of that. So I can say that then 9600 equals 3002 add the velocity, or mo sorry, multiply by the velocity of the van. And now I can rearrange this by just bringing the 3,200 down to here. Dividing the 9,600 by the 3,200 to get the velocity of the van equal 3 meters per second and that will get you your final two marks giving you the complete seven marks for the question.